Hey guys, Crypto here, Cryptogasmic. Uh, time for a, just a little market update, uh, nothing too long. Uh, so let's start with Bitcoin. I'm sitting uh, in the Grand Caymans at the moment, really beautiful here, uh, going through the charts. My, my TA really hasn't changed much um, over the last couple of weeks, which is why you haven't heard from me a hell of a lot. So let's just um, have a look at it. Okay, so the market cap, 253. Again, BT dominance is still at 42, well, it's just gone up to 43%. Um, and, you know, I just still don't think it's the position to be trading right now. It's going to come. Uh, but I believe, let's have a look at this over the last three months. You know, we're still making lower low, uh, lower highs, right? Um, and you can see this progression down, right? Even here in June, it was the market cap was going from 330 to 350. And then it was going, you know, 265 to 300. We managed to get back up to 273, but we just seem to be continuing this downtrend, and, and that's what's worrying me. And when we do run the uptrend, we're going to make so much money in that time. So right now, it's about accumulating. Think of it like this, guys. Like, if there's a TV that you want, and it's usually $1,000, all right? And then tomorrow, there's a sale, and that same TV is $300. Would you wait? until the following week when that TV is $1,000? Of course not. So why do people do this in crypto? Um, you know, if you've got a $1,000 TV and it's worth $300 and you buy it, and then the next week there's another sale and it's $150, but then it goes back up to the $700, you got, I, I don't understand these people who, you know, guys, we had opportunities back here at 58 and I told you, accumulate under six grand. Um, and then when it was starting to run up here, I got so many messages. Like I get, guys, honestly, I must get 100 private messages a day, right? Um, and if I don't get back to you, sorry, it's just I don't see it. My whole telegram is full. You know, crypto, is it too late to buy? Should I buy it now so I don't miss out? And I, just, I don't know what to say because you didn't want to pay 5.8 for it, but then when it's 6.8, you want to buy it because you don't want to miss out. I, I just don't understand, and there's nothing more I can say. You should have been through the training video. So let's have a look at where we are. So looking on the daily, um, okay, still way under the red cloud. And look, as you can see here, guys, right, look, high, low, low, even down here, right, high, low. And we, we're just not getting back, so low, high, low, low, high, we're just not getting back into this. We needed to get past open and close above here to get, and you know, my TA has been pretty spot on. Um, we had this resistance level here at the, at the previous highs, couldn't break it. Boom. You know, so I think now if we look at this on a, some people question my Elliott waves. Okay. I just want to explain something. Um, let's look at this on a six hour. Okay, the way we map this out. Okay, um, now we actually did hit a third wave target there. If we look at this, you got to remember Elliott waves go in different patterns. They can be stretched out, they can be long. But if we put a, a fib on this, okay, from that first impulsive wave to here, all right. So the one, the two, you can see that the three target is there. So we're actually following, and this is why you, because originally we probably would have had the target up here at seven, but as it went sideways, you've got to come back and you've got to readjust. So you can still see that the third wave is longer, right? So this, and it's also in line with the top of the red cloud. So as far as Elliott waves go, that was a place to take the money. Um, and what I keep saying is if we get up here into this area between 7 and 2, and if, we, if this does play out, I'll take the money. So that's my strategy is accumulate below 6 all the way down. And so this has fallen below on the candles, right? However, if we look at the daily chart and we look at the line chart, okay, you'll see that top of wave one is actually there. It takes the candle out of equation. So we're kind of right 
there. Right? So this is where I would expect a bounce. So a bounce in this area keeps the Elliott wave on track. All right? So that's the place to go long right now at the 63.50, 63, 63.60 mark. Okay? So this is how you, you can do that, guys. Um, and that, this is where I mean when I give it a little bit of leeway. If we go back now and we look at this on the candles, it falls below the top of the candle here, right? But that's just pure manipulation for me. So that's where I allow it. So this is how I pick my spots. Um, and that was an obvious spot for it to take a bounce. So let's see whether we can make the fifth wave, right? Guys, don't let your emotions get... I keep saying it and saying it and saying it. And right today, everybody's going, here we go, down below six, here we go. And then if we wake up tomorrow, and this is heading back towards six, eight, six, nine, you're all going to be sending me messages going, is it too late to buy? I've missed out. All right? We're in accumulation stage. If you want to buy Bitcoin, buy it at the bottom of these red candles. Don't buy it on these green ones on the way up, guys. You've got to get out of that. That's what 90% of the people do. Okay? So I really do think we're going to see this 100% retracement to here. This would be the next spot where we get a good bounce, a very obvious one. Um, and if so, we accumulate. If not, let's map out our new target for the Elliott waves. And then we take some profit. All right, that's it. No emotions. All right. So now we're probably looking at the retest of the 7,000 here. All right. So depending on where you bought your Bitcoin, that's your next target, if the Elliott wave continues. All right. So this is an important part now. So if this breaks down further below here, that Elliott wave is off. You know, And then we may be looking at all of this being a wave one. You know, and then we're looking at, at, at our bounce point. Sorry, let me get rid of that. Uh, and then we're looking at our support and resistance levels based on this. Right. So 6.2 would make sense. Look at the previous history. That's where it failed. You know, but you've got to be careful entering these spots because... 100% retracement, right? But those will then be the line. So for now, for me, the Elliott wave is still on. Um, and then in this case, you know, we would be looking for something like this. On a bit more of a longer term. This is why I'm looking on the bigger, the bigger picture, right? So 7,000 is really, really that level. Um, you know, and you're going to be looking at something like this. If we hold a retracement here on the 50%, great. As I said, we might then be looking at a wave three. It may go sideways. It may go to here. You know, um, so then you've just got to map it out, right, and then follow it. If we are in fact moving. And then you look at buying on point two, point four. So for me, I'm more interested in accumulating down here. Let's look at the RSI. All right, so there's no support on the 12. The daily is oversold and falling. The three day seems to have peaked out. So, and the weekly. So if this is going to continue on, okay, six hours just resetting. So this could be a little spot. In here between, no, not even there. Where we are now, the 6350 to 6360 zone is where I would expect to bounce. We may meet resistance here. All right, back up on this line where this red EMA is going to come down. So we may get a run 63 back up to 68, and that same emotional thing is just going to keep going with you guys and everybody else. You know, right now you, you're thinking that it was. A, so many messages. It's going to the floor now. Um, I'm at a loss. I chased it. Right? And then as soon as it starts over the next couple of days and the 6-hour and the 12-hour start getting some support in here, right? that 6-hour 
is just on the bottom trying to reset. We get a little run, then all of a sudden the 12 hour resets. Okay, because the three day, sorry, not the three day, the weekly, it's still got a lot of room to go. And you can see back here, right, the last time it was on the floor like this, and it can go sideways for a long time, but the last time it crossed nicely like this was in here. And we got the run up to 9,200. Okay, so this weekly is a positive sign, but we're going to see some sideways, some up, and we're down. And look, this went here sideways from the first. Look, tried to get it, went up a few times, but this went sideways for four months on the weekly. And now it's just starting to turn. So that's a positive sign um, on the weekly. Okay. Lots of green ahead there, but we've just fallen through that green cloud on the weekly again. Okay, so, and if we look at it, if we look at it on this, okay, let's have a look. Okay. <clears throat> so our trend has kind of moved now as well. Now like this. All right. So we've just also as well broken through that downtrend. So we now move our trend a little. So you can see that the trends are going, it's still running down. And it always does it in steps, you know. Look, down, up, big down. Everybody thinks the recovery is coming. 100% retracement. And it starts climbing. Here we go. 100% retracement. So, you know, we still need to see where we're at. And if we look at it as far as looking at an 88% retracement from back here, even from in here. Okay. You know, that 88 is still down at that 4,000 level. So this is why I'm still very unsure. And I'm not really want to get into trades now because if I'm wrong and it starts making its move, then we play the trades on the waves, guys. That's the big thing with Elliott Wave trading, right? Is we don't chase impulsive waves. We wait and then we get our seats at the table. But you can clearly see here, this is a really strong zone through here of support and resistance, right? And we're still in it. We haven't even climbed out of it. Through here. And we've been stuck there since we've been hitting, you know, ups and downs and definitely some trades in there. But at what point? And it's holding that. Um, this will be a big point, right? The three day long term EMA here. All right. So we've bounced off of that again. So this would be a good place to probably get another bounce at 6 1 if you wanted to do a trade. Um, but, and we haven't even fallen through that yet. So you can see as we go through the time frames. Okay. Bang, we fell through the, the blue on the daily back there. Try it again, we fail. So it became resistance. Right. Then there's the three day. Fell through the red. Now it's just a matter of time before it falls through the blue. So um, that 6,000, 5,800 mark is so once it falls down through there, then you've got the weekly. which would work out with our 4,000 down in here in this zone, see? So those are the reasons why I'm still just being patient, guys. Use this time to um, sort out your training of your Elliott Waves and your charts um, and get used to accumulating the, the red, not the green. There we go, look, 88 right in there. So this is where I'm getting these numbers from. In there. Okay, um, and you know, anywhere in this zone, just accumulate. Sub six, not even there. In there. Anywhere in that kind of area is where I'm looking to accumulate. Uh, and let's have a quick look at, I mean, Ethereum. There's no point in really going through a lot of the others. Um, Ethereum is still holding its Elliott wave on the bigger picture. Okay. On this big frame. 
Uh, we've just made another impulsive run, but like you can see over here, right? We make an impulsive run, 100% falls through. Impulsive run, everything that, that one thinks it's going. So this is the zone I had catching it just in here, which we just touched. Um, but I just don't think it's worth the trading, right? These bottom of these red candles is where you want to accumulate. These double bottoms is where you want to accumulate. And if you do get a run, you can map it out and, and sell. Um, look at EOS again, right? Everybody thought it was running again. $9.40. Why would you pay $9.40 for it? And now we're back in that exact same spot. Now, guys, you've had plenty of opportunity to accumulate bottoms. So that's an obvious place of where it's going to get a little bounce. And you can see, guys, it does it over and over. Here, makes a run. So has this finished yet? I don't think so. I really, really, really don't think so. Now, so, I, you know, my strategy is accumulate the bigger coins. Uh, once I've done this video, I'm going to put up some, start putting up some charts of my accumulation zones and the coins that I want to uh, get. My advice is to not get into too many. Um, you know, not too many, but uh, just a couple of the main ones. 90% in the top coins is where you want to be. Maybe top five. All right. Um, but don't wait until it's too late and then chase it once it runs. Okay. Litecoin under eighty dollars. I mean, I can't believe we may have an opportunity of Neo under. You know, there's my, my catch zone there. And I put this out there for everybody. Um, this was a trade I was having a go at. And it was going okay, but it's kind of back in the break-even spot. Um, so that's, you know, that's really, really it, guys. The, the, the trades aren't there to be had yet. Um, TRX was on its way. Look, one, two, three. We got, you know, the four. And it was, and then it just bang, it just tanked. All right. So this is why it's very important to learn your technical analysis skills, so you can map things out. And now we can get rid of that. All right. And we can obviously look at the big picture and go, well, we're definitely on the wrong side of the trade here now. Okay. So we want to wait for an impulsive run, catch a wave two bottom of wave two so that's basically it guys um i still think we're going down um i know you're impatient but it's really simple just accumulate some coins at the on the bottoms of the dips all right and once it gets going we'll then use the coins that we bought cheap and we'll trade to increase those coins that is the strategy guys don't wait until it runs and then you think you've missed out then you go and buy it and then the next day it drops all right so take it easy guys and stay in touch and um speak to you soon bye-bye